Good day everyone. My name is Graphics. If you look at the right hand side of the screen, you will see a figure. And the question that is attached to this figure says, An electric light weighing 15 newton hangs from a point C by two strings, AC and BC. The string AC is inclined at 60 degree to the horizontal and BC at 45 degree to the vertical, as shown in the figure. Using Lamy's theorem, or otherwise determine the force in the two string AC and BC. Now, in this case, we're having a. Uh, this is representing my electric light. Why this string AC here and BC here? Are representing the string in which the electric light is attached to. Now you should have it in mind that the string you see here has a weight of 15 newton, that is a weight of 15 newton, so the force will be acting downward. Due to this force or the weight of this um, electric lamp, there will be a tension on the what? On the string AC. Having in mind that if the weight is too much, the string might cut off, right? So there's a tension here on the string. So let's say that tension is force AC acting in the direction of what? In this direction. All together. Similarly, the same things apply to what BC. Also, there's a tension at that what BC due to the force exerted by what by the electric light. In cases like this, the first thing that you are advised to do is for you to draw your free boy diagram, just like I am doing on the screen. You can see that. Hope you see that. So the force acting downward and the two tension acting on the string. Now let's come back to our diagram. At the point C, where the diagram meets, I will put my four cardinal points. See the logic here. So I will take the vertical one up here to be the north and down here to be the south. The left here should be the west and the right here to be the east. See what I'm doing? Now, if the angle between this horizontal plane here and this string here is 60 degree, automatically the angle between this AC plane here and the horizontal plane, that is the um, west-east line, is also what will be 60. How? Very good. The question is, the something we call alternate angle in the world of science, specifically I would say mathematics. When you have a Z shape this way, right? Whether the Z is facing this direction or this direction. Whatever angle you have at this corner here will be the same thing in this corner here. We'll call it what? Alternate angle. Now look at this closely. You see that this is forming a Z shape. I'm using my red line to show you. It's forming what is Z shape. So if there's 60 here, automatically there will be 60 degree here. Is that okay? That is one. Now, if you look closely, in between the north and the east, the angle between them is 90 degrees because you see that they are perpendicular to each other. They are meeting at right angle. So, if you remove the 60, right, from 90, 
what will be remaining here at this small part here will be 30 because 30 plus 60 will give me 90. Am I communicating now? Now, similarly, the angle between the south and the east is 92 because the south and the east are what? Perpendicular to each other. So, you see that? It's 90. So, if I now move from this tension of this string, AC, if I move down to this wire connecting the light, right, it will be 60 plus 90 and that give us what? 150, meaning that the angle from here to here is what? 150 degree. Are we together? That is one. Secondly, if you look again, between the vertical axis here, that has an angle of 45 degree, the angle here will also be what? 45 degree. Why? The same principle applies. Alternate angle, like I explained earlier. So if you look at this, now this is my shape here. Let me bring it out. This is the Z shape. So whatever angle is here, will be the same that is here. We'll call it alternate angle mathematics. So we have 45 too. Is that okay now? Now, if I now add this 45 and this 30 I have here, right? I'll be having what? The total will be what? 75 degree. Right? So I'm going to place it here. 75 degree. Can you see that? Similarly, the angle between my north and my west is also 90 degree because they are perpendicular just like the north and the east. Now, if you subtract 45 from 90, the remaining one here will be what? Will be 45. Am I communicating? Now, we know very well also that the angle between the west and the south here is also what? Is also 90 degree. Now, so if I move from the string BC straight down to where the lamp is, the electric light is, it will be 45 plus 90. And that will give me what? 135. And I'll place it here. 135. Now, I have successfully drawn out my free body diagram, right? This is what we have. So, I've gotten the angle between each of these axes. Is that the okay case now? So, now, and they are meeting at this point here, which is the point of concurrence. I can use any method of my choice. I can also use the method of using your, um, your um, resolution of force to solve this question. But what we are told to use here is Lamy's theorem, right? So applying Lamy's theorem. Now, what does the law say in Lamy's theorem? Because there are conditions you must follow before you can apply Lamy's theorem. The law says that when three forces acting at a point are in equilibrium, then each force is proportional to the sign of the angle between the two other force. Now let's take a look. Let's say this is three forces acting at the point, right? Just like you can see on the screen. And different angle we have in between FBC and FAC is alpha. In between FBC and W is beta. And in between FAC and W is what? Shy. Right? Now, it's telling us that, and they are meeting at this point here, point C. The law is telling me that when three forces acting at the point are in equilibrium, and each of the force is proportional to the sign of the angle between the two other forces. So this is where they are meeting. This is the point where they are meeting, point C. So it means that, what it means mathematically is that each of the force let's take W for instance, will be proportional to the sign of the angle between the other two force, right? So W will be over sine of alpha equals to FAC will be over the sine of beta equals to FBC will be over the sine of chi. Can you see that? This is what the law is telling us. So I'll take this moment to seek for your help, viewers. 
please if you are finding this video helpful and educating please don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share the video if possible thank you so let's get back to business so the force each of the force will be divided by the sign of the angle that is opposite it just like you can see on the screen so let's move forward so if i start applying this if you look closely my w here is giving us what 15 the one the weight acting downward all over my alpha here is giving us what 75 we start comparing both of them right that will be sign 75 equals to my fac is giving us we don't know that what we're looking for the force along the string ac is not given so all over the angle beta which is giving us 135 you can see that we're comparing both of them equals to the force along the string bc which is fbc all over this angle opposite it, the shy has given us what 100 and what 150 you see i have successfully replicated it here you can rearrange it anyhow anyone can come first right if i like i can put fbc over sine 50 equals to fac over sine 135 equals to um 15 over sine 75 whatever way you want to arrange it nothing spoil so we move forward now i cannot take fac and feb together because we have two unknown i will take one known and one unknown in order for me to get my answer so i'll be taking 15 over sine 75 equals to fac over sine 135 right so we're having that if i make fac the solid of the formula my fac will be equals to what 15 times sine 135 all over sine 75 right and my 15 sine 135 is 10.607 over sine 75 is 0 0.966 so if i divide 10.607 by 0 0.966 my fec will give me 10.98 newton you can see that similarly i'll see take 15 over sine 75 and fbc over sine 150 right we're taking them one at a time now if i do that i will cross multiply because i want to make fbc the sort of formula so my fbc will be equal to what 15 times sine 150 the sine 150 is coming up to multiply the 15 all over sine 75 so my fbc will now give me since sine 150 will give us 7.5 divided by sine 75 is 0 0.966 so we'll be having my fbc will be 7.76 newton so the tension along that is exerted as a result of the force or the weight of the lamp of the electric light here is what along the string the string bc we experience a force of 7.76 newton while the string ac we experience a force of 10.98 newton so there is more tension more force exacted at the string inclined at what 60 degree than the string inclined at 45 degree so if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and also share the video thanks for watching